All new at 11, a mother of four. Well, she's sleeping in her car tonight where her kids cram into her sister's small home. This is all because she says her DeKalb County apartment is unlivable as management tries to fix it. John Sherrick explains now why she's stuck as management makes repairs. Since August, she's been trying to get management to fix the plumbing and leaks and flooding in her family's apartment. It kept flooding, it kept flooding. Precious Bankston shows me the wet floors, the soggy carpet and mold, and yet this working mother of four children ages 4 to 13 somehow blames herself. Bankston having to resort to social media for help. Nowhere else to turn, she says. Somebody hear me. I'm crying out for help for me and my baby. I can't cook. I don't have a stove. We have no sanitation. We can't wash. Um, I feel like this is all my fault. Um, I feel like I failed my kids because the apartment convex failed me. Bankston says management at the complex Oak Forest Apartments in Scottsdale refused to move the family to a different unit and the landlord is not commenting about any of this to us. Bankston moved her children to her sister's small home and she's sleeping in her car. Repairs inside the apartment did finally begin this past Friday, and Bankston says it's worse now. Rats have been coming through the holes that crews punched through the floor. Renters versus landlords, all too common, and attorneys we've interviewed about renters' rights here in Georgia all say that renters should document everything, which Precious Bankston has done, either for reimbursement claims later or to get out of a lease. Atlanta attorney Christopher Stanton, this past January. You can say that your landlord has constructively evicted you you if the property is no longer habitable. Bankston says it's like she's trapped, in part because her rent here is subsidized by HUD. I can't afford to get out here and pay three times the rent. I can't. I'm trying to do better. I've been working since I was 15. So I feel like I have failed. I feel like the system has failed me. I feel like I have failed my kids. As of Monday night, Bankston was still trying to find out from her landlord when her apartment would be repaired and put back together so her kids can move out of her sister's and she can move out of her car. In Scottsdale, in DeKalb County, John Shirick, 11 Alive News. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, June 13th. The year is 2023. It's early in the morning. I got a little frisky dog here who just won't leave me alone. This is Grayson. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Grayson will not leave me alone when I'm doing my little videos. He he I, he is a very smart dog. He realized that something's going on. He like ain't gonna ginger. He realized something going on. He said, something going on over here. Something going on, and I'm going to be a part of it. Yep, I'm going to be a part of it. Yep. So anyway, today it is um, Tuesday, June 13th. The year is 2023. It's a beautiful. I'm sitting outside on the deck. It's gorgeous out here. This weather has been very mild this um, summer. I'm not complaining because it's middle of June and we not at 100 degree heat like we were last year. I'm not complaining. I haven't really had to run air conditioning very much over here, which has been very nice to keep these utilities low. So I am not complaining. All right, y'all, this, this, this story, is, this news article is sad. It broke my heart. You have a mother with four children who's trying to do everything right. She's working a job. She's working. She's taking care of kids. She's providing housing. And this apartment complex, they're doing her wrong, y'all. they 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 doing her wrong. And they're doing this because she's a black woman. Let's just keep it real. If this had been a white woman with white children complaining about the, that apartment complex over there, I, I don't think, I know for a fact they would have moved her to a different unit while they made those repairs. How in the hell can you rip this unit apart with them living there. They didn't tore holes in the floor, ripped out the plumbing, ripped out the sink, the stove. All this stuff is not working. Water everywhere. And y'all still will not uh, take this, allow this woman, open, give her another unit to live in, even temporarily or permanently. This is, this is why I don't like the state of Georgia. Because they have some really fucked up ass laws here that help the the the, 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 the land, uh, the, the property owners versus the renters and these disgusting apartment complexes can get away with murder i you know, i remember when I, my, I had a water leak in my apartment complex y'all know y'all may not remember this the last, the last place i lived it was the, the big window and anyway there was some water that came in the unit they gave me free rent 
they sectioned off the apartment, they moved my stuff out of there. They moved it, they had a moving company come move everything out of the way. They um, proceeded to, there was just so much stuff that they did to accommodate me while they made the repairs to my unit. Um, moved all my furniture into the basement area of the, right of the garage. Um, I didn't have to pay rent for a whole month. Um, they fixed it, the, the, the place as best that, you know, it was just, a, it was a huge difference. And so I, I thought about that when I was looking at her unit. She, she's living in a unit with four children in a three bedroom apartment. Y'all, that, that story broke my heart because they just taken advantage of her. And I, I wish that she could, and then, then they said she didn't have renter's insurance. Y'all, do not, do not move into an apartment in Atlanta or anywhere without renters. Just renters insurance is so cheap. It's so inexpensive. I would never live someplace without renters insurance. Because it's so inexpensive and it protects you from things like this. That they, the renters insurance probably could have kicked in and moved her someplace safe. I think the most I was paying for renters insurance at my last apartment was maybe $37 a month. And I think that was the maximum policy. It was like 30, it couldn't have been no more than $30, $40 a month. And I, I maxed it out. And I was through a company called Lemonade that offered renters insurance. Never, just pay the renters insurance because you never know when you might need it and when it could come in handy for you. I wish there was some way we could help this woman because this, this, she doesn't deserve this. And um, it's heartbreaking to see they got some really rough apartment complexes in Atlanta, Georgia, and people are paying a hell of a lot of rent to live in hell holes. You know, people, y'all got this idea that Atlanta and Georgia is this great place, and it's really not, y'all. It's just, if you don't have your finances together, or you don't have your act together, and you, you're financially not capable of, of taking care of your own stuff, you're gonna be in trouble down here. And she said she was on some type of housing assistance program, um, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Oh, stop it. You're not, you're not, you're barking at yourself. Get over here. Come here, Grim Ginger. Good Lord. She's had to be nice to them. She's barking at herself. In the window. <laughs> Interrupting my video with all that damn barking. Ginger, get over here. All that damn barking at your damn self. You're looking at your own reflection. Ginger! You know what? Come on. Y'all go in the house. Come on. We're in the house. Ian. Sit down. <sighs> Sorry about that, but I had to put them inside the house because it was just. Alright, I'm back. I had to redo this whole video. Um, I had to put dogs up because they were clowning this morning. I, they always get. You know how these dogs are, they get the clowning out here. But it's a beautiful Tuesday, January, June 13th. All right, in that, in that news article you all just saw about this young mother who has an apartment in Scottsdale, which is right outside the city of Atlanta in DeKalb County. Now, DeKalb County is a predominantly black county run by black folks. Black judges, black politicians, black councilmen, black, all black folks run to Cap County. But this woman can't get no help. No help. Not from, from any of the consistent people who control the county. Uh, you would think she'd be able to make one phone call and people run out there and say, okay, this ain't working, y'all. Y'all gotta put this woman someplace safe. Everybody, y'all got this love for coming to Atlanta, Georgia, and the surrounding suburbs to live in poverty and despair. Georgia is not a good place for people who are living under the poverty line or close to poverty 
they don't care about these people. Clearly that apartment complex doesn't care about her because she's getting some type of government housing assistance. You would think because she was getting government housing assistance, the apartment complex would be more quickly to resolve these issues and move her to another apartment without water problems and mold and construction. How the hell is she going to live in a place with y'all and tore the place apart and you reconstructing it? The sink is all, kitchen sink is torn out, the counter is torn out, the tub and walls and sheet rock. How in the fuck is she able to live in this place under these circumstances? She's not, so she had to move out. And they, uh, she doesn't have renter's insurance. That's another situation there, too. I think the renter's insurance would clearly have helped her to get... I would hope that the renter's insurance... Uh, renter's insurance is not expensive. I never understand why anybody would live in an apartment without renter's insurance. That shit runs $34 a month. It's cheap. You can get just a basic policy for 10 bucks just to cover basic stuff. I mean, it's cheap. Never. If you are living renting an apartment now and you don't have renter's insurance, please go online to Lemonade.com. Lemonade, like, like lemonade that you drink, and get you some renter's insurance. You must have renter's insurance in the event that something happens like this. You know? So they can put you in housing or something. But this situation is sad. This broke my heart because this woman has four children. She's in this apartment. She's trying to do the right thing. She's trying to live honestly. Um, in the apartment complex, they're not, they're not doing it right. Georgia has some real fucked up ass um, tenant landlord laws here. And they always tend to side with the landlord. That's why I said at the beginning of this that DeKalb County would be in a black county. You would think that they would have put, put laws in place in DeKalb County to help renters. So they don't have to live in these foul conditions. But y'all love Atlanta. We go to Atlanta. We just love Atlanta. I'm like, okay. Y'all just don't know what y'all heard. You better stay in Chicago if you know like I know. If you know like I know, you better stay up there in New York and battle them winners up there. In Chicago, New York, Detroit, they have much better, particularly New York and Chicago. Detroit, too, have much better landlord laws in place up north. So you don't have to live like that. I wish there was some way that we could help this woman. Because I think this is a horrible situation that she didn't put herself in. I don't think she did anything wrong. She's blaming herself, but I'm not, I'm not blaming her because she did, she, she did everything right. It's just that she's dealing with some insane laws here in the state of Georgia. And some, in, some bad apartment complex owners. When I lived in a, the last apartment I had before I moved into this house, I had some water leaks that came in and buckled the hardwood floors. The apartment complex, um, I didn't have to pay rent, I didn't even make any repairs, no rent, I didn't pay no rent. They moved me to a, they moved my personal belongings into the lower garage while they did construction. They taped off the, I, my rent, I didn't pay no rent for like a month and a half while they did those repairs. Um, while they were working on it. And they fixed the repairs and everything was brand new. They moved my furniture back in. Everything was beautiful. But they're not doing this apartment complex is doing this woman wrong. They should have moved her into another apartment or moved her into temporary housing while they made those repairs. The fact that they're trying to make those repairs while she's still living in, did you all see the repairs that they're making? They didn't tore this place apart. I mean, ripped it apart. She has to have a stove. She had sink. The sink was ripped out and the cabinets are being moved. How in the hell is she going to live in, a, in a, an environment like that with this going on? She did the right thing to call the news over there. And I hope they're able to do something. Yeah, I, I wish we could set up like a GoFundMe or some way to help this woman. Because I, that broke my heart that this was taking place. Um, and I'm going to pause this for a minute. I'm going to make sure this is being recorded. Okay, so this is being recorded. I just want to make sure. So if we can come up with some type of way to help this woman, it would be really nice. I wish there was some way we could help her. Um, I wish there was some way that we could find some way to assist this woman in, her, in, the, in the, 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 the crisis that she's going through. But it's going to be a short video because I have um, some contractors heading this way to do some work in the house. And I just want to do a video. If y'all can come up with some type of way we can assist this woman, it'd be really nice um, to get her some help, to get her the help that she needs, to get her a place to stay, maybe a GoFundMe or something. This is heartbreaking to watch this story um georgia can be had some real fucked up ass laws in place to 
you know. But um, those are just my thoughts and opinions, y'all. I mean, I think Mr. was somewhere we can help her, her sister could find some place, temporary housing or some type of funding so she can get in a hotel she's at, so she don't have to have her kids living in an environment like this and um, living in wet, moldy conditions. And I think it's just horrible. But um, if y'all can come up with some thoughts or ideas, I mean, if she has a GoFundMe set up or something, if we can find some way to help her, I think this would be great. But again, y'all, yeah, this is going to be a short video. I got to jump up and get ready for you. Cause, um, anyway, today is Tuesday, June 13th, the year is 2023. And um, I look forward to reading you all's comments and ideas how we might be able to assist her or help her. Or something that could be done to help this woman get into some place temporarily while this construction is going on. Maybe we can reach out to the news reporter. Some if y'all have any ideas, I look forward to reading. You know, email me at walterhampton2 at gmail.com and let's see what we can come up with. Anyway, I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of this beautiful Tuesday. It's a beautiful day outside here today, and I'm out of here.